but some animals still thrive in this watery jungle. Red-faced macaque monkeys watch over their youngsters as they play at eating leaves and fruits. As the infants reach sexual maturity, their faces will redden too. Still relying on mother's milk, the baby picks fruit and drops it to the forest floor. Perhaps he is just copying what the adults do. Living in large family troops of 20 to 30 animals, they form a tight clannish community. Grooming each other is reassuring and reaffirms their close family bonds. High in the trees, these youngsters will grow up in relative safety. With their keen senses and deft movements, they are rarely prey for the tiger. But the messy eating habits of the macaques, chewing bits of kiora leaf and then discarding them, make them vital companions for the favorite tiger victim, the spotted deer or cheetal. Licking off insects and moisture first, the macaques send a constant rain of debris to the forest floor. Deer will seek out macaques from up to 70 yards, 60 meters away, and follow them all day. Kiora leaves are also the main diet of the spotted deer, so keeping the macaques in their sights means they will be well fed without any effort on their part. A troop this size will drop over a ton of leaves in the course of a year. It appears a relaxed relationship, but monkeys and deer live in constant fear of the tiger. In fact, the monkeys provide an even more crucial service for the deer. The keen-eyed macaques are ever alert to the presence of the tiger and will screech out a warning whenever it comes near. 